بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ان مائی پریویس ویڈیو لیکچر وی ہیو اسٹڈیڈ دیٹ ایف وی آر گیون اے فنکشن ایف آف زیڈ وچ از ناٹ اینالیٹک اونلی ایٹ فائنائٹ نمبر آف پوائنٹس ان سائڈ اے کلوزڈ کارو دین انٹیگریشن آف دیٹ فنکشن از ایکول ٹو ٹو پائی آئیوٹا اینڈ sum of all the residues of that function at its singular points. And now let us apply this theorem to an interested problem. Uh, in this problem, we have to evaluate this integral which is 1 over z square into z square plus z plus 2, where c is a circle of this form. So let us start the solution of this problem. Uh, first of all, we can see that f of z in this case is equal to 1 over z square into z square plus z plus 2. And if I simplify it a little more, I can get that this is z square into z minus 1 into z plus 2 which I get by factorizing this equation. And now we have to obtain the singular points of this function and for that purpose we have to put z square into z square plus z plus 2 equal to 0. From this we get that this is z square into z minus 1 into z plus 2 equal to 0. And you can see that from here we can get z is equal to 0, which is a pole of order 2 and from this we can get that z is equal to 1 which is a simple pole called pole of order 1 and from here we can get that z is equal to minus 2 which is again a simple pole of the given function. Now in the next case we have to draw the circle. The circle is z absolute is equal to 3. So from this we can get that z absolute is equal to 3 mean that this is a circle whose radius is 3. This is the radius and its center is 0. So we have to draw this circle. So if I draw this circle it means that its center must lie at the origin. This is our center. This is the uh, real axis and this is the imaginary axis. So and its radius is 1, 2, 3. This is the radius. So the radius of this circle is 3. And we can see that our first point which is z is equal to 0, this lies inside here. The second point is z is equal to 1, it lies here. The third is z is equal to minus 2, z is equal to minus 2 also lies inside the circle. So now we have to find the residues of this function at these points. To find the residues let, let us find the residue at the first point, residue of f at the point 0. And we can see that this is a residue of order 2. So we can write d by dz into z f of z at z is equal to 0. And now we have to put the value of f of z so if we put the value of f of z 
we can get that this is 1 over z square this is z square z square into z square plus z plus 2 at z is equal to 0 z square will be cancelled with z square and we have to factorize this this term so if we factorize this we can get that this is equal to minus 2z minus 1 and whole divided by z square plus z plus 2 whole square and the point is z is equal to 0 now if I put z is equal to 0 here and here so you will see that we can get the residue is equal to minus 1 over 4 and now we have to obtain the residue at the other point so let us now obtain a residue at the next point the next point is z is equal to 1 so to obtain the residue at the point z is equal to 1 this is a simple pole so we can write that this is equal to a residue of the function f at the point 1 is equal to and now we have to write z minus 1 into f of z at the point z is equal to 1. So now we have to put the values. So if we put the value of the function f of z we can see that this is equal to z square into z minus 1 into z plus 2 and the point is z is equal to 1. Now this z minus 1 will cancel with this one and we have to put z is equal to 1 in the remaining function. So if we put z is equal to 1 we will get a residue which is equal to 1 over 3 and now we have to find the residue at the other point which is equal to minus 2. So again we can write the residue of the function f at the point minus 2 is equal to. So here we have to write z plus 2 into f of z and the point is z is equal to minus 2 and now we have to put the values. So if we put the values we get that this is z plus 2 the value of the function is 1 over z square z minus 1 into z plus 2 at the point z is equal to minus 2. Now these two terms will cancel and we have to put z is equal to minus 2 here and also here. So if we put the values you will see that we can get the answer after the simplification which is equal to minus 1 over 12. 2 twos are 4 and this is 3. So now we have to use the residue theorem. So by the residue theorem we can write that integration of the function f of z at dz uh, with respect to z is equal to 2 pi iota into residue of the function f at the point 0 plus residue of the function f at the point 1 and plus residue of the function f at the point minus 2 and now we have to put the values so we get 2 pi iota the residue at 0 is equal to minus 1 over 4 and the residue at 1 is equal to 1 over 3 and the residue at minus 2 is minus 1 over 12 and if we simplify we will get 0. So the integral is equal to 0. You can see 
that the integral is zero, but it was not so easy to obtain zero. We have to do this procedure and get the answer. This is all.